What is going on guys? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Getting some fights in with Kimbo Slice. Believe it or not, my first time using him, at least online. I might have messed with him in practice mode against AI or something when it first came out. And he actually feels great on the feet. You know, that's what he is. He's a, he's a boxer, so you want to keep it on the feet. And we're facing Andre Bishop here who can be absolutely deadly in this game. You guys have no idea how crazy Bishop can be. But this guy is just, look at him, he is just non-stop forward aggression. And we're going to be technical and just try to pick our shots in if he wants to play like that. Now he's kicking with Bishop. You know, you don't want to throw lots of kicks with, with guys like Kimbo. He he does, I might throw a kick here or two, but that's it. See, you waste stamina like that. But a lot of Bishop's punches are all level 5, which means it does more damage and you lose less stamina. So Bishop, you can throw a ton of strikes with him, you know, within reason and stuff like that. And keep your stamina just because of how of, of his stats he has why he has the body knee though I don't know I think Isaac Frost has it as well Kimbo has it too we drop him there with a the counter and he's just I'm just he's just drawing way too much he's just being so overly aggressive and it's not like good aggression either it's it's bad because I'm able to pick him off I'm blocking there we go as soon as I slip a course I slip into a hook but we're okay nice overhand there I try to duck we duck under that elbow I don't care about the kicks. The kicks are not a big deal. Hits me with another overhand. Man, I got to be careful with those, don't I? But we're fighting well. We're, you know, we're being technical with Kimbo. This is a new Kimbo slice. This, is, this isn't the back. Oh, and he goes for those body hooks, and he can't keep doing that. Caught him with that uppercut to the head. That's why you don't spam hooks to the body. You might get away with that one time, but if you continue to do it, that's what'll happen. Jab hook, stunned. Let's take our time. Let's back away. I don't have the HUD turned on once again, so I don't know where, where the stats, where my stamina and all that is and everything, so I gotta be careful. And look at this guy just ripping shots constantly. And we drop him again. Straight right, left hook. And he's trying to clinch us. And that's it. Yeah, just way too overly aggressive with Bishop. Like I said, you could do incredible things with Bishop. Bishop has the best stand-up in this game at the, in the heavyweight division by far. As far as just pure boxing goes, at least. No, there's no one close to him with his power and his speed. That he, The things he can do. You know, Kimbo's really good, too. Isaac Frost is good. Junior Dos Santos There's some great strikers. But as far as just the pure hands go, Bishop is number one. And there's no, there's just no denying that. So his stats are insane. And it's the level of his punches. Go into practice mode and view his moves and look at all, all of his, uh, you know, you can see there's level 1 through 5, 5 being the highest. But this guy just didn't use Bishop properly. He was just way too over aggressive and wasn't even smart aggression. It was just reckless. We actually ended up out throwing him down the line, but he, he threw a lot from the get-go and missed a lot of strikes. But first fight, so we got three stones, three knockdowns. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Let's go on to the next. And here he is. We are facing Daniel Cormier, guys, for our second fight. And with DC, I always call DC Mike Tyson because, man, his 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 strikes come out so fast. And don't worry about, don't pay attention to what the strike stats say for DC. I think his, st his stand-up rating is like an 88 or 89, which isn't bad. But it, he's great. His boxing is fantastic in this game. He's also one of the shorter fighters. And the way they made this game is in being one of the shorter fighters, your strikes come out faster than, like, say, John Jones. Even if the striking speed's more, it doesn't matter. So you have to keep that into account in this game. And so I'm going to try to be technical here, take my time. And he's really putting pressure. And you have to be, you always have to be ready for the takedown against. So and this guy's doing straight right, left hook a lot, see? I'm trying to catch him in between. And he drops me with that lead uppercut. Good job by him. Got me there, and he hits another switch kick. He goes for a third one. We're going to have no more of that. Hit him with a lead overhand. And so far, no takedowns from this guy, and he probably has a false sense of security now that he's got a drop on me. We're okay. Because look at him. He is throwing, and I know he's DC who has insane cardio in this game, which he should, but it's still. See, he's getting frustrated already because I'm not just standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, continuing to just throw a 1,000 strikes with him. I think, oh um, yeah, he got me with that one. Nice lead uppercut. Once again, the lead uppercut. First I got dropped and I got rocked off it. Yeah, he's ending with that a lot. Oh, he might be out. 
but we're just going to take our time. I already have to kind of understand that I lost the round. I mean, not that I can't get it back, you know, but I'm not trying to... Okay, I have to hurry up. There's still two more rounds, so even if I don't get a drop or a rock in this round or get it back, that's okay. And we have to look at the big picture here. Like, I'm trying to make him waste stamina too now. See? When he whiffs on big kicks like that. Yeah, not going to get a takedown in the middle like that, even with DC. See? Overhand missed. And he's still throwing afterwards. I really should be going to his body more, but yeah, I didn't do it too much in this match. And he's landed on me, though. So there we go. We slipped past him there. He's landed on me here and there, though, so I do got to be careful still because I've already been dropped in rocks on my chin's going to be a little... Head health isn't going to be the hottest, but... Kimbo has great stats as far as his chin health goes and body health and all of those things, though, so we're, we'll be okay. Make him keep missing. Take our time. Yeah, I'm trying to catch him coming in since he's thrown from a little far out. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. We make him. We dance around him again and make him miss. There we go. Nice combo. Get our combo in. Back away. There he goes. He tries to come in with a little side movement, but we catch him with a one, two, three. Drop him. Just taking our time. And we're gonna get the clean knockout after this DC player. And who uses DC like this? My goodness! Look at the look at this. 111 strikes, guys. A 78. That would have normally been our round, but it might be his because not only did he drop us, we got the drop back though, but he did get that stun on us. But when you're 35 of 111, that is terrible, it's terrible. Just that's one of the worst right there. And we got him missing on some overhands and some some of those switch kicks DC has the body switch kick. So. Hopefully our stamina will be in a decent place, but unfortunately I have the HUD turned off, keeping it turned off for this one, so I don't know where exactly everything's at. But, uh, yeah, after his taunting and, I mean, just using DC like that, I mean, if I was facing the Kimbo Slice putting on DC, and they look like they're pretty decent, I'm taking them down. I'm standing up long enough just to try to get the takedown. But that's okay, though. We're going to get that clean knockout. And good job by him there. He, he switched it up. He caught me off guard with that. I did not, by the time I, I reacted to it, it was too late. And I tried to go for that for that crucifix. And now he's going to spam knee. So once they just do that, we can just sprawl right out. And he decides not to even play anymore. It's fine with me. He's taunting again. He thinks we're going to fall for that kind of stuff. We don't take debate on those things. We rock him, take our time. Not going to force it. Again, we're going to get the clean KO anyway. Slip over, straight right, lead hook. Yep, keep missing, keep missing. Waste that stamina. Tries to take us down. We're having none of it, and we're going to get straight up. Kimbo's top game is actually like an 89 or something like that. It's actually not that bad. He actually has some submissions from top, which is kind of funny. I was checking him out in practice. Rock him again. See, his head health is gone now at this point. But the one bad thing about Kimbo... Oh, he rocked me there. <laughs> and look at it. I can tell he's gassed, though. Look at him. Look at him throwing these punches. I can tell he's gassed out. He has nothing left. He's rocked again off that straight right left hook. And he's still throwing. I'm going to let him. Let him waste his stamina. Straight slip over. Straight right left hook. He hasn't picked up on that. He gets dropped. Left hook. Nope. We want you up. We're going to get the clean knockout. Come on. There he is. Yep, you, can, you can't hold on to that sway back. That's what happens when you hold it. You have to react. You can't, you can't just hold the sway back and expect the hook will miss. It won't. There's another drop. He's done. Get up. Getting the clean knockout here. Yeah, that, that's pretty insane though to be this cast to be cast out with Daniel Cormier, who has I bet I would argue probably has the best cardio in this division, I'm sure. And that's it, he's done. Yeah. No more. That guy should not be allowed to use DC ever again. You cannot pick DC and play like that with him. He made that too easy for us. He did get an early drop on us and a rock on us, but other than that, we pretty much dominated. He did get a flash rock on us too in this round, but it didn't matter. We we completely dominated him. 
As you see the stats there in the second round, seven stuns and wobbles, three knockdowns. Just a uh, just a good just a good fight for us. Just domination all around. And while DC does have great hands, you got to use him better than that. And of course, try to mix up and use his wrestling. He did for a little bit, but that's then he just got up and didn't even really try again. But on to the next. All right, we are facing Andre Bishop once again. And it said I had beat this guy before, though I don't recognize him. So we'll see how this goes. And I see him. <laughs> He's got Andre Bishop, and he's going to just come. He's just going to walk me down, and just with pure aggression, we're going to pick him off. Man, I'm getting these aggressive fighters today. Both fights with uh, the other Bishop player and the DC player were guys were pure aggression on me. I think they see Kimball and think I'm just going to brawl it out, but if they're going to present this to me, then I'm not. I'm going to be technical. Guys like picking Bishop in this game too because, like I said, it's hard to run out of stamina with him because of his uh, levels of his punches. Catch him with that one-two. We're going to take our time though. Take our time. Drop that body hook. Another body hook. I saw that coming, but it didn't give me the block for some reason. Now that he got, he got to take that. I'm, I'm laughing at this point. I'm like, all right, you want to play the ground game with Andre Bishop even though I'm Kimbo? Let's do it. Fine. I'm down. Pretty funny though to you know you're picking Andre Bishop and now you're going for takedowns, but hey, I'll take it. That's fine with me. Now Kimbo's grappling stamina is only an 82 though, so you have to be very careful. You don't want to spam transitions and get some block because your stamina will get killed like that. He tries to fake, we're not falling for that. We're not having that either. And now we're able to get back sitting. He tries to go full guard. Nope, we block that. We're gonna take his back here. Drop some ground and pound. We can up that block. <laughs> He's had enough. Man, I'm done for today, guys. Yeah, we have these aggressive, aggressive players today. I don't know what was what was going on today. And then this guy picks Andre Bishop, fights insane, gets rocked and dropped a little bit, goes for a takedown. We get the better of him on the ground. He's tapped out and had enough. But um, hey, he's the one that bought the ground game to me. I wasn't gonna looking for a takedown. But, hey, that's how it goes sometimes, guys. But we're gonna, that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch you all next time. Peace.